you've got a <laughs> new dog, have you? <gasps> oh, 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 baby! Oh, it's Toby! Oh, oh. It's Tobias got... Gregson! Oh, oh that's cute. <laughs> The Crystal Tower. <laughs> Lots of people very excited for this stage. Is there a new character? That's what somebody says. <gasps> oh, it's a Puppy! doggy! It's a doggy! That's what everybody's excited for, is Puppy. I had no idea there were so many people in the world. That's a wild thing to say right now, but sure. I know what you mean. It's really packed here today. It feels as though it's taken us two hours just to make our way through the crowds at this point. Has it? I shut, <laughs> my, I shut my brain down so I didn't really notice, to be honest. You do that a lot, Gosh. Ryan. I do wish I had your absence of mind sometimes, <laughs> Mr. There you are! I had the feeling you lot would show your mugs before long. That's a Gregson. Yo, that dog is going to town on you. <laughs> oh, Inspector Gregson! I see you're hard at work as usual. Warm greetings to you. I do hope you've been keeping well since last we met. Okay, you're being really nice and I'm suspicious. What's with all the ceremony? We just saw each other in court this morning. He's talking. Not you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's talking to Sasada, <laughs> you dope. <laughs> Not you, sunshine. The gentlewoman so loyally at your side. Oh, why, thank you, Inspector. How good of you to notice. You might be a bit rough around the edges, but he's still a proper, sh proper English gentleman at heart, I suppose. He might be a little salty around the edge. <laughs> As you've probably guessed, we were hoping to do it to, to investigate the scene more, some more. Right. Well, that's the young trainee's domain. Oi! Get over here, Gina! <laughs> oh, it's so <laughs> cute. Oh. She seems to be busy playing with a puppy. Probably giving it a traditional East End training. The puppy stole your money. Yeah, what the fuck? Gina? She's a police officer now. I know, Susato. It, it's a whole thing. Amazing, <laughs> isn't it? She's a good kid, actually. Art's in the right place, anyway. She's got the detective bug, if you ask me. Yeah. I think she'll follow in my footsteps nicely. What do you mean? I'm being transferred. Oh. Time for me to say toodaloo to London. Oh, shit. Aww. Oh, no. Really? I'm shocked. That's... That's a bit sudden, isn't it? I had no idea. Yeah. London will be just a bit less salty <laughs> once I'm gone. <laughs> Where are you going to be posted, then? We'll come to see how you're getting along. <laughs> Not likely, but you're welcome to try. If you don't mind a trip to France, that is. Whoa, okay. To France? I'll be working in the Paris Police Prefecture. The Triple P. <laughs> Should be right up my alley. But, but France? It's an entirely different country. I don't understand. Why would you be sent there? Wow, you're right, Ryan. It is an entirely <laughs> different country. <laughs> That's the way the adult world works, sunshine. Now don't go poking your nose in where it's not one teat. I'm intending to take the kid with me when I go. <laughs> uh, probably somebody oh. said he'll have to train in his fish and chips for poisson et pommes frites. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. What? You're taking Gina to Paris? I can't leave her here in London. Who knows what'll become of her? 
I mean, she can still be a London cop without you yeah. around. I suppose he's worried that she'd slip into, slip back into her, slipping her hands into people's pockets and purses. Oh, she still does that. Yeah, yeah she did that to me yesterday. I don't think he's worried about her pickpocketing, Mr. Narahoto. I think he's worried about the Reaper. Oh, of course. So, is that, so that's playing on Inspector Gregson's mind too, is it? Anyway... I haven't mentioned any of this to Gina, so don't go blabbing, you hear me? You should probably tell her. No, of course not. S sorry, Inspector, I'm not allowed to keep secrets anymore, so <laughs> I have to tell her. <laughs> I've got to keep that diving diva safe and sound. Until this is all over, at least. The diving diva, that's good. Yeah, I like that a lot. Oh. Oi! Did you just call me a blooming diving diva again? <laughs> so you heard that, did you? Right, well, any questions about the scene, you can put them to my capable detective diva here. Yeah. All right, you are the boss. Inspector Lestrade's in charge here now. I suppose I'd better keep my word and not mention anything about Paris. So, um, <laughs> Gina. So, Gina, bonjour. Uh, <laughs> How's your French, what, by the way? What do you think of Paris? <laughs> <laughs> do you love croissant? Croissant. Croissant. Uh, croissant. You've got a <laughs> new dog, have you? <gasps> oh, 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 baby. It's Tobias got... Gregson. Oh, oh that's cute. <laughs> also, Crackle Act, you're 10 bits saying Toby, the fastest and smartest of the Tobiases. So good. <laughs> Very good. Wow. Very that good. Dog, that dog is fucking wired right now. That dog Holy is so cute. Shit. Gab is from cute. Virtue's Last Reward could fucking Wishes never. Wishes he was this dog. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, isn't he great? Toby's his name. Oh, how delightful. He's absolutely adorable. Yes, the dog does seem lovely. But it's the not-so-lovely Inspector Gregson that's playing on my mind, to be honest. <laughs> uh, Ghana just also should tell saying Toby is an actual Sherlock Holmes character, by the way. That's funny. Oh, really? I assumed it was oh, a cute. reference to Tobias Gregson, but Toby the dog. T Toby the dog. Um, Gina, we were actually hoping that we could investigate the scene again. Yeah, all right. If it's around here, you can do what you like. Oh, that's all right, is it? I'm going to be playing with me new friend here. So yes. I don't really give a shit about yeah. all this police and stuff. <laughs> Toby. Oh. Oh. Baby. The machine that exploded must be at the top of those stairs, I presume. I haven't actually seen it yet, so if you don't mind. Sorry, you can't go out there, Suze. Oh. It's like I told Odo yesterday. Even I ain't allowed near that wreck. What's it called again? The reason we ain't supposed to touch it? The special... The Special Dispensation for Scientific Equipment Act. Is that what you were thinking of? That's the one! That's why only them lot are allowed to investigate it. What are they called again? The Friend Sick Something? <laughs> the Forensic Investigation Team? Is that what you were thinking of? That's the one, yeah. But isn't it the case that the special dispensation has been lifted? I think so. I don't really get it, to be truthful with ya. You're still supposed to get permission from some bigwig or other, as far as I know. What was his name again? Um, 
Lord Strange something. <laughs> Doctor oh, Strange? Dr. Oh, Strange. shit. <laughs> the Sorcerer Supreme in London? Oh, shit. <laughs> More likely than you might think. I'm not sure that's quite right, Regina. I think you mean Lord Strongheart, perhaps? That's the one, yeah. Apparently, he's always watching the time or something. So without Lord Strongheart's express permission, we can't investigate on the stage. Okay, well, I know where we'll go next All after right, this. Well, yeah, we'll go, yeah. <laughs> it was great, weren't it? I had a right laugh. It was a new one on me, that. You know, being in court and not spending the whole time worrying, and worrying I'm about to be found out. <laughs> You did keep an awful lot of secrets in all your previous court appearances, didn't you? Yeah, and Odo's make things hard for me every single time and all. <laughs> Just doing my job, Gina. But wishing someone else get it in the neck is a lot of fun, actually. <laughs> it was amazing when you showed that dodgy professor's dodgy experiment was a total fix. The dodgy professor, as you put it, Gina, is Mr. Narahodo's client. Yes. I'm starting to wish he wasn't, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's the boss I feel sorry for. Sit off to do the impossible. What do you mean? He's supposed to arrest that other cove, ain't he? And in time for tomorrow and all. You know, the dodgy engineer... Uh, what's his name again? Gina, do you remember anything? <laughs> Mr. Drebber, you mean. Enoch Drebber. That's the one, yeah. So the police are looking for this mysterious man with the black monocle. I guess they would be. He's putting too much on the boss, if you ask me. He says, he's give he says it's giving him a gut ache. No, I think that's from all the chips. Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh shit! But I do but I do wonder if it's this and actually from all the fried food. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. We're too good at this. I know. We honestly should be right in this game. So Scotland Yard are trying to track down Mr. Enoch Drebber. I wonder if they've had any luck. He's really funny looking. Got two eyes, but don't matter. He's got two <laughs> eyes. Period. Two arms. <laughs> <laughs> Gina, what do you think people look like? Yeah, what? What are you talking about? This right here holds up Toby. <laughs> <laughs> got two eyes, but don't match. Stole a glimpse of a picture of him earlier. Oh, can we see that? Yeah, be convenient. I mean, I didn't actually pinch it or nothing. The old devil's got it. The devil has it? Sonny who? Ah, shit. You Lucifer? Know. I that do know. Scowling... <laughs> Did you need that picture? <laughs> hey, what's up, Lucy? How you doing? <laughs> Pretty good, Gina. Just hanging out with Magnus McGill, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that scowling reaper was always glugging down glasses of that blood red plonk. Plonk. I like that. <laughs> Ah, Lord Van Zeeks. He's always had it in for me, that cove. Don't know what he's always scowling about, mind. Yeah, you're not probably, even foreign. <laughs> probably would have been a pretty good boss as it goes. She'd rather be the Reaper's apprentice than a detective's trainee. The way I see it, the choice is between a chip-guzzling detective and a chalice-glugging demigod. Wow, they actually called him a dummy god. Yeah. Wow. You're equally bad off, badly off with both. <laughs> You're making terrible life choices, Gina. <laughs> <laughs> you, should, you should hang out with our with our drug doing detective, <laughs> super genius child housemate. <laughs> we're we're right. somehow we're somehow the normalest ones here. Yeah, really. You need to hang out with our drug-doing detective and our <laughs> drug-supplying child. <laughs> and now that I think about it, Susato, Susato, you're the only person who should be around people. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you're right. I hadn't thought of it like that. Glad we've put that one to bed. Anyway, the point is, everyone at the yard's dead set on finding the fishy engineer. 
But there don't seem to be no clues to go on. So they're stuck. There's nothing that can lead us to Drebber at all. Let's talk about Let's that puppy. About Toby the dog. Where did you find that little mutt then, Gina? Oi! Don't be so flaming rude, Odo. <laughs> Slight overreaction, don't you think? He ain't no mutt, all right. Toby's... How did they put it? Just the cutest little so thing cute. ever. Oh, yeah. A bona fide detective. Okay, well, that was... Sure. Sorry? I've given him a proper title and everything. It's Chief Inspector Toby to you. <laughs> okay, that's really cute. <laughs> More senior than Inspector Gregson, is he? <laughs> yes, I outrank him. <laughs> <laughs> and you would do well to refer to me by my full title. <laughs> oh, so he's a police dog, is he? The police recruit dogs now. <laughs> Just the wording of that. I've heard that they actually- I've heard that they're already being used officially in Germany as part of their city policing. Because you know, Germany just does everything better than <laughs> everybody Germany's just the best. <laughs> Except for that oil from France, apparently. Yeah, that's- They, get that they, got, one, their, they got the best oil in France. Yeah. They're used for chasing criminals and such like. They have a wonderful sense of smell, after all. <laughs> Do you the G-Chin time saying, Toby's here to catch all the cats that are murdering people? God, that's good. <laughs> This is the prequel <laughs> to Cats vs. Dogs. Versus Dogs! Yes! <laughs> the movie we've all been waiting for! God, Finally. I hate that fucking movie. <laughs> I have a fairly good sense of smell myself, as it happens. What? What? And now we just now we just need now we just need a pe a prequel to Baby Geniuses starring Iris. <laughs> I can tell undergarments that have been freshly laundered from undergarments that haven't. <laughs> what? That's Stinky. called a normal sense of smell. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you sniffing panties, Ryan? <laughs> Let me touch the panties. Your panties. <laughs> I want to see your panties. That's, that's the Ida Sovereign File joke. That, that didn't just come from nowhere, everybody. Okay. <laughs> I got to be clear on that one. Ah. <sighs> That's nothing compared to this little fella, Odo. Oh, really? According to what the boss said. Whoa! Oh, this is this is where the 3DS was really <laughs> packing the punch. Whoa, right the dog's so close! <laughs> Whoa! The fucking stethoscope guy just pops out from the bushes, like, oh my god! <laughs> if you cross this your is eyes, my favorite part. I don't remind that. me of that. Don't <laughs> remind me of that fucking dude. Ryan just takes out the crossbow from. <laughs> just ices him. <laughs> Goosey gander, Ryan. I can tell regular panties from boneless ones. I will never outlive that joke. God damn it. Nope. Also, it looks like Gina is just straight up staring right up this dog's butt. Right <laughs> It's like she's holding him like a gun, almost. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. I used to take my cat and hold it and shoot it like a gun and then go like, Ch -ch -ch with the cat. <laughs> Obligato obligatory lasso from One Piece reference. Yeah, yeah. Dog, uh, dog gun. Fucking saw the uh, bazooka fruit or whatever the fuck it was. No, isn't it What's... a gun that ate a dog fruit? You're right. It's the gun that ate the dog fruit. Fucking one because, piece, everybody. Because it has Which, to be, how? Because it has to be even stupider Wes, than it's your because, first thought. Wes, it's because Dr. Vegapunk, the most genius person in the entire universe who it took almost 1,200 chapters to meet. <laughs> He's actually a great character, though. I love him. Jesus Christ. They're brainwashed, folks. We can't save them. <laughs> to be fair, I'm like 100 chapters behind, so. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, sorry, spoilers if you didn't know the I mean, I know what they mean. Okay, okay, okay. That okay. part's not a spoiler. Gotcha. <laughs> Once Toby has got a whiff of your drawers. Ooh, Toby, what? He could chase that scent to the other side of the world. Gina, I think your dog's a pervert. <laughs> what? <laughs> to, to the other side of the world? You mean... He can swim? 
<laughs> That's what you... Mr. Narahodo. <laughs> I think you may have missed the point. By rather a wide margin. I... I just can't believe this little dog has such an incredible <laughs> skill. I can't even swim. <laughs> I'm telling you, Odo, there's going to be more and more dogs doing their bit for the police in the future. <laughs> Insert the conversation that we're having about AI, but about dogs. No. <laughs> Damn it, dogs are going to take all of our jobs. Then bring it all together, that horrifying robot dog they want police to use. Oh my god, yes. Oh, it's terrifying. Yes, I agree. Right. One of these days, they'll be barking orders at us lot, not the other way around. I don't know about that one. Oh, dear. Sorry, Gina. I don't think I agree with your vision quite that much. Well, anyway, whatever you think about that, Toby here is Britain's first police dog. I found him down the East End the other day. Someone had just chucked him out on the street. There you go. I knew she lifted him from somewhere. <laughs> That's not really stealing. He was stolen from the street. <laughs> oh, Gina, you're such a kind-hearted soul, aren't you? To children and to animals. <laughs> and then that face. Mm. Shut up. <laughs> is it? I mean, this is. We already looked at this, right? It looks different. Or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Let's see what they yeah, say. I think it's the same, but we can see what Susato has to say about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Here's the scorching on the ground that you mentioned. Yes. And there's what's left of the green balloon's envelope. All clear evidence that the balloon had exploded on the other on the day of the incident. Poor Professor Hairbrain. I do feel sorry for him that his dreams have been shattered like this. Someone's well and truly burst his bubble, as it were. <laughs> That's good. Ouch. I'm a bad person. <laughs> Man, if I Got believe... Him. Ryan, if I believe that every time somebody didn't laugh at my jokes... <laughs> I need even more therapy. You'd be you'd be going to hell even more than you already are. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. We should we should show this. Also, we didn't even look at it. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. That? There's a freaking obvious smudge on the back. This dark smudge here. I think perhaps it's machine oil. Oh, yes. we're going to give that to the dog, and the dog is going to oh, smell it. Oh, very good. Ah, the fancy special oil. Yeah. Professor Hairbrain mentioned something about the oil Mr. Drebber uses, didn't he? <laughs> insert, that? insert fucking, what's his name? Uh, Orson Welles. Ah, the French. <laughs> Known for the smell of that oil. <laughs> He said it was a specially imported, very high quality oil that's impossible to obtain in Britain. Yes, that's right. But more importantly, that it's more fragrant than the finest perfume. So, excuse me a moment. <sighs> oh, it doesn't appear to have any scent at all. Don't worry. I, I expect that's just because there's such a tiny amount on here. Yep. I feel the dog can smell it. It's though, gotta be. For sure. Yeah. Oh, shit. No, I was already there. <laughs> you had all the clues? Yes, yes, croissant. It does have the friend of Sench lemons. <laughs> ah, <laughs> classic. About this, Gina. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm still learning me letters at the moment. I only know A to E. So if it ain't too much bleeding trouble. Ah, uh, actually, Gina, it's the back of the car that's important. Eh? How come? It's just a dirty old smudge on the back, that's all. It turns out that this is very high quality French machine oil. It has a very particular scent, apparently. You don't say. Let's have a whiff then. God damn it, just give it to the dog. <laughs> You sure? I don't smell nothing. No, no, we didn't want you to smell it. Oh, right. You mean Toby. I'll never get tired of this animation of her picking up the fucking dog. It's good. I know. 
I, I was waiting for a second. I was like, Wes, voice the line. I was like, it's yeah. the dog. <laughs> Woof. His sense of smell is so good, he can track people over the oceans, can't he? <laughs> Professor Hairbrain informs us this, that this oil is unique to Mr. Drebber's workshop. And to France, so <laughs> we'll go to one of two places. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> immediately takes you to France. <laughs> I think he's picked up a scent. So you mean, if he follows this scent, the scent of this oil, Toby can lead us to that dodgy coast workshop? That's right. That's exactly what we were hoping. All right, then. We'll give it a go. I'll just borrow that. Wait, when did you... Wants a pickpocket? If I can lead everyone to that Drebber's workshop, I'll be the boss's boss before next week. <laughs> oh, yes, Gina. Girl boss. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be promoted. Poor, poor Gregson. Okay, cool. I think we'd probably just, like, leave that for now. Yeah, okay. Sweet. Yeah. Let's see if Susada does anything else for us. Um, yeah, I'm guessing we we probably go to the other places and then... Yeah. Do you want to go to Lord Chief Justice's office? Yeah. You're still, yeah. Just curious. When you click on expression stage, what is experimentation stage? What is... Seems we can't investigate. Okay, yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, let's go to, let's go to Strongheart. Oh. oh, this is a new character. New character. Perfect for the thumbnail. <laughs> oh, who's that standing beside Lord Strongheart? I wonder. I've never seen her before. Is she pretty? Oh, yeah, she's pretty. No, you don't get to look at the pretty woman. <laughs> Ah, the young champion of the court. You had some success this morning, I understand. And you've thrown the entire government into disarray as a result. Oh, you... you mean because of Professor Hairbrain's experiment? Sham science being demonstrated at London's Great Exhibition. The country's been made to look foolish, and now politicians are scrabbling to respond. Lord Van Zeeks is in Whitehall as we speak, giving an emergency briefing. Oh dear. I, um, I didn't mean to cause any trouble. None of this is your responsibility. The government is entirely to blame for having been taken in. The special dispensation that prevents investigation at the scene will be annulled later today. Oh wow. Once the once that happens, my forensic investigation team will move in and deal with that scrap metal in no time. It's scrap metal now, is it? Yo! Ooh. Holy shit. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. She's kind of Lean in real thing. into the uh, silver and white yeah. color uh -huh. scheme. Literally, literally, MILF meet DILF. Like, are you kidding me? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, they seem like they are out of the oh, exact she's got same the, thing. She's got the two snakes coiling around the uh, the, the medical a, symbol. The doctor the, thing, yeah. Higher Cadu tide. The, the caduceus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I yeah, so I guess she's a, doc is. she's a doctor of something, mm -hmm. I would imagine. Oh, so it's Dr. Uh, Mommy? Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> and she's ready to fall. <laughs> <laughs> Until later then, Lord Strongheart. Yes, thank you. And that's all we get of her. <laughs> <laughs> and she never appears in the game again. Damn it! <laughs> um, who was that? That was Dr. Courtney Scythe, Scotland Yard's esteemed chief coroner. Ah. Uh... She's leading the forensic investigation team's handling of this case. She was just delivering her report about the victim, in fact. <laughs> Equation in spaces. She shows up in the next game. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> That'd be really funny. That's hilarious. Oh, I see. About Mr. Assman. 
Following the outcome of the trial earlier, I asked the coroner's office to reevaluate its findings. I don't have time to tell you what she concluded. If you want to know, you'll have to ask her directly. You can find her in the forensic laboratory. Ooh, we need to go there. Right. <clears throat> now, what were you here to see me about? I can give you seven minutes and 39 seconds of my time. That's a long can time, you, actually. Yeah, can you not explain what she told you in those seven minutes and 39 yeah. seconds? Yeah. <laughs> so he's not running quite so spectacularly late anymore. No, I'm on time for being late. <laughs> uh, what up? <laughs> NM, HBU. <laughs> What exactly is the forensic investigation team that you mentioned before? The British Empire's police force must become the most exemplary in the world. For that to happen, it's imperative that we embrace forensic science and everything it has to offer. I first created the forensic investigation team a year ago now, unofficially of course, to pave the way. Goodness, a year ago? At next month's symposium, I intend to present the results of their work to the world. As of now, they haven't done anything. So, <laughs> this crime has actually been really great that we get to use them. What if that's the plot, is that he's creating crimes in order to get his forensic investigation team to investigate stuff so that he can make them a thing? It's a... It's a uh, we've, we've already referenced this movie, the Jake Gyllenhaal one. Oh, Nightcrawler? Uh, Nightcrawler, Night yeah, it is Nightcrawler. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is eventually what we turns up and do, yeah. Once I do that, the House of Lords will be powerless, will be powerless to oppose <laughs> the creation of a full-scale forensic... <laughs> I am the House. I am the House of Lords. <laughs> exactly, that's exactly what I was thinking. Uh, my, forensic my forensic investigation team will be fully operational by the time your friends arrive. <laughs> that was good. Will be powerless to oppose the creation of a full scale, full full scale battle station forensic. God division. damn it! <laughs> I can't help it. That line was so Star Wars. And once that happens, the position of Sith Lord will God be mine, damn it. <laughs> and criminals will suffer, and the Jedi will suffer dearly. <laughs> <sighs> so this is how Save Data ends, not with a bang, <laughs> with Star Wars jokes, but with, but with a power. <laughs> Unlimited oh. forensics. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always a lucid gamer. Good. Well done. Good. And once that happens, the position of Attorney General will be mine, and criminals will suffer dearly. What do you mean? For too long, those scoundrels have made a mockery of our legal system with false evidence and bribes. But London's scum is about to be rounded up and burnt in the fires of hell. Okay, well, you're weirding you me really out now. really meddle really fast. <laughs> I intend to see to it personally. Man, I can't wait to find out that you're evil. <laughs> By creating the finest police force the world has ever known to protect our honor and our future. Fuck. Goosey Gander, it's your time fencing. Somehow, Giselle Brett returned. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking good. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> Look at those eyes. It means every word. Dr. Scythe is an extremely reliable coroner. When I officially establish the forensic division at Scotland Yard, she will run it as my right-hand woman. Hot. Yes, it is. <coughs> now then, speaking of the symposium, Miss Mikotoba. Oh, uh, yes, my lord. Your father should be on the high seas as we speak, 
making his way here to represent the Empire of Japan. Yes, that's right. I understand he will arrive at the beginning of next month. Are you acquainted, Lord Strongheart? With Professor Mikotaba, I mean. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was many years ago now, but yes. I remember Dr. Mikotaba very well. Well, we're going to talk about that now. <laughs> If my memory serves, it was some 15 years ago now that your father came to Britain as a visiting student. It was the year I was born. So yes, 16 years ago, in fact. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dunk on this guy, but it feels like a bad move to be gone for six years the year that your child is born. Yeah, Just throw that one out there. Not, not great. It's not a great. Not move. exactly father of the year material. Yeah, just throw that one out there. It's a little, <laughs> uh, a little cringe, bro. Mikotaba was a young practitioner of forensic science, and Jigoku accompanied him as a young, promising judge. Oh wow! So he knows Jigoku too. The punk. Ooh. It's a ten dollar word. Is that punctiliousness? That's what I would guess. Punct punct I think it's punctilious. Punctilious or punct? I don't know if it's punctilious or like punctilious. Yeah, it could be. It could be. Because you'd say like punctual. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you yeah. say punctilious. Punctil it's, punctil it's punctilious. Hmm. Yeah, weird. Punctilious. The punctiliousness and politeness of the Japanese at the time impressed us greatly. And then you came along, <laughs> Mr. Narahodo. Not that I wish to imply impoliteness or carelessness on your part in any way. <laughs> I didn't think that you were. Oh, well, I was. Until now. <laughs> I didn't realize that the Japanese were also stupid. Dr. Mikotaba studied forensics at one of the London's large at one of London's large hospitals. Saint Sinners, if I'm not mistaken. That's a real name one, isn't it? And it's called Saint Sinners. England, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think Saint Sinners is actually real. Oh, okay. I think it's a made-up one. <clears throat> Doctor Scythe was also there then, as it happens. Then, Doctor Scythe knows my father. Does knows my father? Does she? She was a young medical assistant at the time, so I doubt their paths crossed regularly. But I've no doubt they knew each other superficially. After all, Dr. Mikotaba was here studying his subject for some six years in total. Six years? It's a long time to be studying abroad, isn't it? I lived with my grandmother in those years. So he left his newly born daughter behind and went overseas for six whole years. Yep. Are you are you thinking the same thing as us, Ryan? It was a rather turbulent time at home. Oh. Perhaps father wanted a reason to get away. What do you mean? Why? Aw. That's sad. Well, clearly something was going on at the time. Oh, I bet is I bet. Oh, I bet it. Susato's mom is gonna be involved in the betrayal and the reason why people are feeling all sorts of ways. I bet. Yeah, maybe. I bet. Maybe. I bet. <laughs> I bet it. Bad Zeke doesn't like Japanese food because <laughs> Susato's mom didn't like him. <laughs> he's basically uh. prof he's basically Professor Fucking Snape. <laughs> <laughs> just, just bitter and shitty because he didn't get the girl. <laughs> <clears throat> I wanted to ask you about Lord Van Zeeks, actually. I heard that his older brother was killed some years ago by a mass murderer known as the Professor, who targeted nobles and royalty. Is that right? You Japanese are a thorough lot. You've done your research well. Yes. And you could say it was that very incident that gave rise to the Reaper. What? 
Why? When his brother, Clint Van Zeeks, was murdered. It was just after the young Barrack had graduated from the University of London and become a prosecutor. When obvious criminals who managed to evade conviction in court started disappearing. Rumours quickly spread throughout the capital. Londoners started to say that wherever Barrack Van Zeeks went, the ghost of his dead brother wasn't far behind. Damn. Oh, my word. So, Lord Van Zeeks isn't the Reaper. It's the ghost of his brother. <laughs> Ever since that time, he became a very aloof figure in London's legal circles. Oh, yes, Lord Strongheart. Go ahead. It's about Professor Harebrain's experimental machine. We'd like your permission to examine the remains, if possible. Are you well versed in science, then? No, but I'm not sure if he is either. Not in the slightest! <laughs> in fact, you could say I was barely aware of the subject at all until recently. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the special dispensation legally preventing investigation of the machine is currently being annulled. Within a few hours, Dr. Scythe's team of forensic experts will begin their own investigation. But I suppose until then, there's no harm in you looking at the wreckage, as long as you touch nothing. Thank you! I'm gonna touch everything everything just just get ready for that it's happening <laughs> and you know what you can't test fingerprints because this ain't germany idiot <laughs> being able to look at it is better than nothing and i'll be able to see it too i i do got a shout out several people in the chat are talking about bad experiences with their dad leaving or cheating on their mom Sillart just said, my dad is bald. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's rough. That's rough, man. <laughs> nah, that's real rough. <laughs> oh, shit, Sillart. <laughs> Fuck. Shit, man. Yeah, that's, that's a heavy one. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to write a shonen protagonist, and that's his tragic backstory. <laughs> my dad. <laughs> doesn't have hair on the top of his head. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Colby Jack says my dad vapes. <laughs> Whoa, cool dad. <laughs> that might actually be the worst time, why? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Fuck. Sorry, I'll give you this one more time. Yeah. And I'll be able to see it too. And I'll help. <laughs> Your time is up. Hey, great. We did everything Perfect. we needed to do. So hey, you can fuck off, actually. <laughs> you can uh, fuck yourself. You'll have to excuse me now, I'm afraid. My next engagement calls. We are extremely sorry to have troubled you when you're so busy, my lord. I have important matters to attend to in preparation for the symposium. You understand. Okay, bye. Uh, well. New location has it's, been added. It's, it's the two knights, diddle and fiddle. <laughs> we could go, oh. Oh, okay, we can go talk to Dr. Scythe, which. I'm I, bet Scythe, I bet Scythe isn't there, but we can go. All right, lab, we're doing it. Oh God! Ooh. You know, I knew that we were going. I knew that we were going to a corner office, but uh, yeah. I didn't know we were going to like the evil queen's corner. <laughs> I believe this is it, Doctor Sy's laboratory. The chemical smell really assaults the nose. There's plenty to assault the eyes in here too. 
It looks as though the doctor isn't here. But we're here now, so we may <laughs> as well do some sightseeing, don't you think? What a seasoned tourist you've become, Miss Susato. We could just have a little a little look around, being careful not to upset any restless souls. Well, Sorry, can I read you guys a quick Wikipedia paragraph? <laughs> Bridge, what sure. are you looking up right now? <laughs> I was looking up the history of dogs and policing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It was, yeah, it was relevant. I okay, promise. Okay, okay. Because <laughs> I was, I was, I was, I was surprised to hear them say it's one of the first attempts. I'm like I, I could have sworn they'd been doing that for much, much longer. Um, but it, in under this, under the uh, history of police dogs for the modern era, mm -hmm. one of the first attempts to use dogs in policing was in 1889 by the Commissioner of the Metropolitan Police of London. Oh. Sir Charles Warren. Wow. Warren's repeated failures at identifying and apprehending the serial killer, Jack the Ripper, had earned him much vilification from the press, including being denounced for not using bloodhounds to track the killer. Huh. He soon had two bloodhounds trained for the performance of a simple tracking test from the scene of another of the killer's crimes. The results were far from satisfactory, with one of the hounds biting the commissioner and both dogs later running off, oh, requiring no. the police search to find them. No! <laughs> Which is just really fucking funny. The idea, the idea of you putting, like, something to a dog's nose and be like, go get him, boy, and they just turn around and bite you instantly bite is you. really funny. <laughs> All right, fine. You want me to use dogs to fight Jack the Ripper? Let's do it. One bites you and they both peace out. <laughs> and it's just like, okay, fuck this then. That's really funny. Oh, shit. That is really funny. <laughs> uh, good job, Sir Charles Warren. I'm glad that's part of your legacy. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you've left behind. All right. Uh, let's start with Mr. Bones over here. Let's start with Jack Scaling. I want to get off Mr. Bones' wild ride. Well, look at this. What a magnificent display case. The cherry wood has been polished to a high sheen, and the intricate carving is a joy to behold. Western cabinet makers really are very skilled, aren't they? Do you have nothing to say about the skeleton inside, Mr. Narahojo? <laughs> Miss Susato, can't you tell that I'm trying very hard to avoid talking about the terrifying contents of the case? It's how I cope! <laughs> I'll be sure to remember that from now on. Ow. That looks like an owl and a crow up there. I know. They haven't even twitched since we came in here. They're on twitch.tv slash owl and crow. Uh. Well, no, they wouldn't have. The taxidermy mounts, Mr. Narahodo. Uh, I was afraid you were going to say that. I've been trying very hard to tell myself they're just sleeping with their eyes open. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think perhaps you are wise to put something like your Dharma doll on display in the office <laughs> instead. I suppose this is Dr. Scythe's desk. Uh. I would not like to work in a place like this. It's very tidy though, isn't it, Mr. Narahodo? Imagine how efficiently she must work. The lighting is poor, which is bad for the eyes, and the chemical smell can't be good for you. Not to mention the skeleton watching over you as you work, which is definitely bad for the nerves. Well, yes, those are valid concerns, I suppose. I can just about cope with a one-eyed Dharamador watching over me, but that's all! Uh, real quick funny story. Uh, my family was friends with a woman who, um... I can't remember the exact name of the, the job, but, like, basically she would, like, dress up, uh, corpses for their, like, open funeral wake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Oh, and, yeah, yeah. And apparently, I didn't know this, a mortician, thank you, duh, um... Apparently, uh, a lot of corpses will have like a little bit of air left in their lungs from when they were alive. And at some point it just comes out. Yep. And yeah, she was like, the first time that happened to me, I fucking screamed so loud. Because can you imagine just like a dead body is. 
out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Just like uh, I would freak the fuck out. That's insane. Yeah, the dead. You're just standing there at the yeah. funeral, and the dead body's like, "What saving?" Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the bottles on the shelves in these cabinets. What an assortment of chemicals. These ones here are labeled highly toxic. <laughs> Sounds delicious. <sighs> That's worrying, because there are also things that look like salt and pepper shakers in there. Oh, yes. And they actually say salt and pepper on them. That... <laughs> you know, when a little bit of body salt and body pepper. No. Listen, she's going to get all the body salt she needs when uh, Gregson kicks the bucket. <laughs> the doctor probably spends a lot of time in this room, I suppose. Perhaps she has meals here sometimes. Life goes on, even when you're surrounded by death. A table and a set of sharp tools. When you consider each in isolation, it all looks quite innocent. So why is it that when you put them side by side, they seem so horribly disturbing? It might be best not to ponder it too deeply. <laughs> Seeing the large tome that's open on the desk does make me wonder, though. How could anybody concentrate on bookwork with this acrid odour of chemicals in the air? You'd either have to have a cast iron constitution or a really terrible sense of smell. Oh, there we go. Jason Jason's new if... career, mortician. <laughs> I wonder I wonder if Scythe actually can't smell and that's gonna be a thing later. Uh, Alright, I think the only thing left would be the organs in these pots up here. Right. These large jars seem to have pale things floating around inside them. I suppose they're... <laughs> <laughs> I suppose they're fruit liqueurs or something. Or like yep. the pickled umeboshi plums we make back home. Yeah, yeah. drink them, Ryan. Drink them. <laughs> ah, father had jars like that in his laboratory as well. I expect the human organs in a preserving solution. Probably as examples of some rare med of some rare medical condition. Miss Susato, there are some things in the world that it's perfectly fine to never know about. Ever! Oh. So as I said, I'm sure <laughs> they're fruit liquors or umaboshi, aren't they? Uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That I is like really that good. Bit. We're seeing a big book. Oh, I, I just assume oh. part of the desk. Oh. Look at this big thick book here. Look at this big thick book. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it appears to be an accounting ledger. It's a record of the forensic investigation mm -hmm. team's spending, I think. Are there crimes? Oh. What is it? It's clear that the team purchases various equipment and supplies on a monthly basis, but... Well, one entry seems rather strange. Really? In what way? It says, the stuff we're going to use for all that crime. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the crime stuff. Crime stuff. They're buying 500 scalpels every month. Five. Five hundred? They must be working really hard on dissecting corpses. I don't know. Judicial autopsies are only carried out in certain special circumstances. And scalpel blades can be sharpened, too. It... it does seem a bit strange. You're right. Five hundred scalpels a month? What could they possibly be using them all for? Oh, I didn't expect there to be... Oh, shit! What are you doing? Oh, hey. I didn't expect her to be back here. Holy shit. Oh, she literally has a snake on her fucking... Yo, this is Pridge bait and... for sure, am I right? I mean, yeah, she's... <laughs> she's, pretty, she's, she's, she's pretty... She's pretty hot. She's pretty hot. Like, like, you can snake still mommy. see her second eye, but the snake is also Pridge core, so... Yeah, the snake's pretty good. <laughs> Snake aesthetics are pretty badass. Mm -hmm. 
sorry, we had, um, something we wanted to ask you, but you weren't here, so we read your book. <laughs> so we snooped. <laughs> <laughs> so you thought you'd snoop around. That's acceptable to you people from the East, is it? Well, what do you want? Uh, um, Lord Strongheart told us, you see, that it was you who examined the victim's body. Um, Mr. Aspen's body, I mean. <laughs> Everyone's giving us the, the YouTube poop Sonic TV show. Snooping as usual, <laughs> I see. Good. So we came to ask you about your findings. On Lord Strongheart's advice. Very well. If the Lord Chief Justice has given his consent, I'll tell you what our investigation revealed. But when we're done, you must leave immediately. I have crime things to do. <laughs> <laughs> so, you want to know what the forensic investigation team determined from its examination of the scene? The victim, Mr. Odie Assman, who disappeared from the experimentation stage amid an explosion. And the Mr. Assman who appeared moments later, partway up the Crystal Tower, were without question one and the same person. That is the team's conclusion. But, but that can't be right! If it was an elaborate trick, we can only speculate about how it was carried out. Let's see, if two people who looked very similar to each other were involved, they could have made it appear as if one single person had switched places, couldn't they? Just like that one Christian Bale movie. <laughs> very true, but sadly in this instance, that was not the case. The man who disappeared and the man who subsequently have reappeared was the same person. How do you have the... the... Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. The, f the German fingerprints at the scene make that quite evident. Pridge, I was going to say the same thing. I was like, it could have just been a dude doing, you know... Like how, do, how, do, how, how, do you have, yeah, how do you have the data on the initial person? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Hell, even fingerprints aren't the most foolproof way of... Ensuring that. Ah, oh, fingerprints. Uh, Damn it, I knew so. you were gonna do it! I knew you were gonna do it! <laughs> uh, what was I gonna say? Also, you could probably, like, indent fingerprints into a You can, yes. Figure, there there are you? ways to do that. Mm. I don't know yeah. if that would have been something people knew how to do at this time period, but that is a thing you can mm, do. Interesting. You yeah. Can you can plant fingerprints. Yeah. They're not yet officially recognized as forensic evidence in the British justice system. But one day, they will be used as an investigative, investigative aid as a matter of course. Oh my. But that would mean... That the instantaneous kinesis actually took place. So, where does that leave us? My team was tasked with investigating, not drawing conclusions. Instantaneous kinesis is impossible, and yet the body did move from one place to another. This hasn't cleared anything up at all. It's made the whole thing even more of a mystery. Billy. Whoa! Oh. Oh, she oh. gets a freaking no, no, break different person. Oh, no, that's different someone person. else. Oh, that's someone else. That's her daughter. I mean, Mama. <laughs> Mama, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> ah, you found my Swedish mask. Uh, where did she spring from? And did she just call the doctor Mama? This is a lawyer, dear. <laughs> Like that she says it like you would say, oh, this is a dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Um, hello. 
to meet you. Pleased to, to meet you. I'm a defense lawyer, Mr. Ryanosuke Norahoden. Mama! Yes. Can I cut this one out? All right, Wes, you oh, gotta give a voice. God. You gotta give a voice. <laughs> She's wearing the Swedish mask. Oh, That's come on. That's what people sound like when they're wearing the Swedish mask. What? Oh, my God. Oh, God. I've never seen the inside of an Eastern person before. I want Wes. to know what it looks like. <laughs> God damn it. Of course you can't. It's a live specimen, as you can very well see. Also, I feel like you're just chipping those blades at that point. Yeah. That, those were not proper sharpening. <laughs> you're just you're just chipping your tools. Uh -huh. <laughs> you, you ship together. <laughs> all right, all right, chat. Fine, fine. I'll I'll play ball. <laughs> fine. You want it? You wanted to stifle my creativity? <laughs> you wanted to stifle my art? You trying to tell me how to do my job that I don't get money for? Then <laughs> fine, chat. <laughs> fine. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> We've got a hot mommy and yonder a daughter. I... I think... I just had a near-death experience. Oh dear. Mr. Norahoto, you're as pale as a corpse. No, don't tell her that. Uh, then let's leave uh, before I'm mistaken as one. Well, there we go. Oh, daughter disappeared. Dang. Uh, do we get her information in the... Oh, I do want to look at that, actually. Yeah. So, what are you doing at the moment, Doctor? Asking you to leave. <laughs> Keeping a close eye on things, so no impertinent Easterners think they can look around my office. Are there such impertinent East... <laughs> are there <laughs> such impertinent Easters Easterners around? How terrible! Someone should buy yes, them. You. She doesn't mince her words, Miss Susato. I think perhaps it's time we left. All right. Well, I think that's a that's a good spot to call it then, huh? I agree. It feels somewhat cooler down here, doesn't well, wait, it? Well, wait, wait. We want to look at the, her profile, right? <laughs> oh. Uh, we can't. Oh, no, you can. I can hit E. Uh, e. E, 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 E. 39? Uh, and looking fine. Courtney yeah. Scythe. How old is Strongheart again? 40 something? Uh, 53. 53. 53. Okay. Folks, that is going to do it for another Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer again. If you want to watch this live, Follow us on twitch.tv slash save the team. And even if you don't, just do it anyways. It costs you nothing. It helps us out a bunch. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, give this video a like down below. That also helps us out and doesn't cost you anything. Or hell, leave a comment. I love reading them. I read them all. Uh, but until next time, stick around for art because court is adjourned. Starting off art this week, Soapy. Oh, sorry. Did somebody need me? I had my Zoom pods in. I was listening to LMFAO Party Rockers. You know, I don't think they need to, needed to apologize. And I don't know what they were drinking, but they loved drinking it. Maybe they were sorry for party rocking. <laughs> Saying, you know, I don't think they needed to apologize is really funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun. Oh, it's so good. Gnomes with, here's a Rinosuke is Tears of the Kingdom Link and an abstract piece based on the Masked Apprentice. Masked Apprentice. Masked Yeah, Yo, that abstract piece kicks ass. It's so good. Does he, did, yeah, he have a, cool. did he have a sword I with love, him? I love stylized shit like that. I'm assuming he uh, did because you drew it. I, I think so. I think so. Also, the, the little... The link is link for Yunosuke is really cute. I love that starting outfit. I wish that you could upgrade it because it actually looks pretty fucking cool. Uh, Tyler, play on three. One, two, 
Go. It was you, wasn't it? Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you sick bastard, you don't even show any remorse. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> You're gonna fry for this! <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for that, Tyler. Ambry, <clears throat> with court bonding time. My boyfriend tripped over a cat and died. That's rough, buddy. 10 out of 10. No uh -oh. notes. I love this meme so much. I could die that for it. That's also like arguably my favorite episode of that show. It's so, it's so good, uh, Avatar. It's Avatar. It's Boiling Rock. Uh, he says... Boiling Rock episodes uh -oh. are incredible. He oh, says, yeah. what's wrong with you? And he says, my girlfriend turned into the moon. And he says, that's rough, <laughs> my, buddy. Yeah, my first girlfriend turned to the moon. And the best empathetic response that Zuko can come up with is, that's rough, buddy. It's so good. And it's, <laughs> and it's fucking impeccable. Uh, <laughs> Don, the CEO of Goth Girl Fammy, rushes in. Oh, I'm so normal about them. My time has come. So guess who my favorite characters are? You will come to learn why I'm the CEO of Goth Girl Fammy. Uh, Don, I am surprised in the zero percent. Uh, we've got mascot designs. Oh, it's a crow and a snake. That's so good. That is cool. Oh, the that's snake. so good. Uh, they're both. They're both incredible. Yeah. Oh, a cute little mother daughter bit hug, with a stuffed with a stuffed crow <laughs> plushie <laughs> and uh, obligatory bloodborne posting. I mean, come on, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Nice. Obligatory. Mm -hmm. Farewell, good hunter. Just a random idiot with a uh, pretty solid old art because, or a uh, pretty old art because I have nothing new as I get adjusted for my summer semester. I have some silly rape family. Very cute. Aww. Yeah, I, I, I am excited to get to uh, Trucy and Phoenix. Apollo. Uh, Trucy's. Cute. I like Trucy a lot. Trucy yeah. has some really great idol animations that are mm -hmm. adorable. I know exactly what she's talking about. Toes and Moss, I've been on a roll with my Phoenix art this last week. We've got Mimic Sprites of my beloved, and oh boy, Phoenix Von Karma mimics so many people in Chapter 2. Yeah, lots of lots of good uh, Francisca and Von Karma. Francisca and, uh, what's his first name? Manfred Von Karma uh, imitations. Mm -hmm. Very, yeah. very cool. And yeah, the blank meme is, I, I, I love that bit. Blank. Blip. Thank you. Thank you, Toads and Moss. Uh, Neil Vessel with Emma, 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 Emma. Did you know what the binary code on top of these, uh, on the top of the page spells? That's right, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> That's, you guessed it, it's Emma. Wow. Emma. <laughs> yeah, Emma's cool. I, I'm, I'm excited for yeah. a day that we eventually play a game that has more Emma, but. Yeah, um. I mean, she's in it a lot. I mean, she basically replaces Gumshoe and Apollo. Oh, really? I, again, I yeah. haven't played Apollo, so I'm excited for that. Yeah. Uh, Biggie Cheese with, uh, this is Biggie Cheese, right? Yeah, okay, Biggie Cheese. Uh, got nothing new, so I'm sharing some old ship art. Yippee! Uh, <laughs> POV, you work at ye old McDonald's. <laughs> Excuse me! Oh, God. He asked for pickles! <laughs> oh, God. Uh, a while back I made an AU where Ryu and Vanzeek swap bodies, so here's more, because giving them expressions that they would never make is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan sipping from the Hallowed Chalice is really, really good. <laughs> uh, infamous Dorky with kind of wild when someone pays you to draw Strongheart, but make him a Warforge from D and D. Uh, I saw this earlier. Ooh. This is so fucking cool. Ooh, yeah, that's metal, and literally. That's, and that's awesome that somebody commissioned you to draw this because I mean, obviously, yeah. you fucking crushed it. Like you knocked it out of the park. Yeah, like the little detail of him having gloved hands, but mm -hmm. one of the hand gloves is ripping, so you mm -hmm. can see his little metal fingies. And his leg being open it, like that. Yeah, oh, that's so out. good. That's so good. That's fucking dope. Dorky, that's great. Yeah, this is incredible. Emma, with hello everyone, here are today's drawings. A bunch of to spell sketches. Very cute, yeah. I love, I love like you, the way you do eyes, Emma. So like, just just the one yeah. accented eye for her is really, really good. And yeah. the uh, the wax spray is ten out of ten. I'm like, mm, let me drink some of that honey, honey. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Albert in my style. I was supposed to draw Vanzix as well, but I got tired. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. That's an adorable Albert. Though. I really like that this is... drawing of him. 
Yeah, that's super cute. It's really adorable. <laughs> and I don't know if you guys will end up meeting them today on stream, which is why I put a spoiler warning, but here's the coroner, Courtney Scythe, and her daughter. Conveniently, we did. We did meet them. <laughs> yeah, also fucking cool. Yeah. 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 I, I love, love these. your style. Yeah, these are really so cute. Good. Uh, yay, love. I learned how to do some rudimentary rigging animation. Maybe I should practice rigging a character with some arms next. Yo, this is so good. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now I'm like, shit, somebody should make a, a little. Now I want to see this. I want to see this as a VTube model. <laughs> yeah. The idea of its little mouth opening and just talking like a human being is incredible to me. <laughs> uh, yay, this is super good. Heck yeah. A uh, little end dragon with, I thought I might be saving this for next time, but it seemed to fit the episode, so I finished it. He's so evil. <laughs> <laughs> I want to improve our justice system so no one will ever think about committing any crimes. With the help of science, we'll catch all the criminals. <laughs> I have a right-hand woman, and I think we should have more women in power. <laughs> Not even the nobles will be able to stop my good changes. <laughs> I'm not even racist. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> the I think women should. I think we should have more women in power is such an excellent line to throw in there. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's very good, End Dragon. Thank you. Uh, salsa, yo. Did we? I'm sure somebody drew something of this. <laughs> I recently made this crime and felt I had to share it. It's so good. 10 out of 10. Hey salsa. there. Hey there, Polly. What's <laughs> this combination for my picnic basket? <laughs> Very good. Uh, Yan with Berk is just trying his best to be a good friend to a goober. It's a bit inconvenient for my case, but my machine makes sense, right? <laughs> Well, what do you think of my autobiography? <laughs> how I was diddled and fiddled. Oh my Telling god. Telling uncomfortable table truths, how to talk to friends. <sighs> oh my Tell god. Tell my friend what you think of his machine and book, or he goes to jail. <laughs> Beric is the best person alive. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, Reaper Bop with rewatched Arcane recently and noticed parallels between Iris and Powder, which isn't worrying. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I mean, honestly, I didn't think about that before now, but I can kind of see it. <laughs> uh, Beb with just experimenting on Clint. Yo, it's really clean. The, yeah. the uh, yeah. Adam's apple, too, is really, really good. Yeah. That's awesome. And the, and the like, lighting and shading on this is fantastic. Heck yeah, Beb. Oh, last minute Chrono Wizard. Here we go. And yet another jab at science and Ace Attorney. <laughs> Do you have any knowledge of science? No. In fact, I just heard of it. What's science? Gah! I'm having a temporal heart attack again. <laughs> Poor Emma. A temporal heart attack is very good. <laughs> Heck yeah. 